Good morning friends, my name is Dr. Indranil Chaudhary, Consultant Gynecologist, Laparoscopic Surgeon with Bhagirathi Niyotriya Woman and Child Hospital. The topic of the day is ectopic pregnancy, its diagnosis and management. What is ectopic pregnancy? When a woman conceives, but unfortunately the conception, that's the baby, forms outside the womb is known as an ectopic pregnancy. It could possibly be the most commonest site being in the fallopian tube. Rarely it can also form in the ovaries or even as an abdominal pregnancy. The incidence of ectopic pregnancy is around 1%. However, in the era of infertility treatment and increasing IVF in the society, the incidence of ectopic is rapidly rising and could be even to the extent of 10% in assisted reproductive techniques. Now how do we diagnose ectopic pregnancy? Commonly what happens is when a woman misses her periods, she usually does a pregnancy test. She finds two positive lines which indicates that she is pregnant, she is on the top of the world, she comes and consults a gynecologist. The gynecologist usually does a routine first trimester scram in the early part of pregnancy around 5 to 6 weeks. Not only to confirm the pregnancy, its date as well as the location. However, at 5 to 6 weeks, when you do a transvaginal sonography, but unfortunately don't find a pregnancy sac inside the womb, is the time when you suspect that something might be wrong. What do you do then? You can do a blood test of beta HCG, two samples 48 hours apart. The rise of the beta HCG pattern, if it plateaus, will suggest it to be an ectopic pregnancy. However, it is very important to remember that diagnosis of ectopic pregnancy can always not necessarily be done by a transvaginal sonography. It has to be a combination of a scan, a blood test and most importantly clinical examination. When we see a blood test of beta HCG 48 hours apart, not to rise more than 50% as well as no sac inside that uterine cavity, we try to inspect the adnexa which means the tubes and the ovaries very closely. In modern day ultrasound machines, very commonly an ectopic can nicely be picked up by doing a detailed adnexal scan. However, sometimes it so happens that patient may not even come to a doctor in the first 5 to 6 weeks. In such cases, it might be so that the patient has symptoms of acute pain in the lower abdomen, even fainting attacks. We call it syncopal attacks in medical terminology. The patient has suddenly fainted in the toilet. The family members have taken the patient and brought to the hospital. On examination, you find the patient to be absolutely pale, blood pressure very low, very high pulse rate. And when you do a scan in such a patient, you see the tummy full of blood. And then you see a ruptured ectopic pregnancy, most commonly a tubal form. Now how do we come and manage such patients? Due to increased availability of ultrasound machines and early diagnosis, most of the ectopic pregnancy are these days diagnosed uh, uh, by scan and can be actually diagnosed in an unruptured form. When they are unruptured, they can always possibly be managed medically. Medical treatment of ectopic pregnancy includes injection of methotrexid, usually two doses around 48 hours apart. If and this patient needs to be followed up very closely. If there is a significant drop in the beta HCG level, that's the pregnancy hormone level, we can actually follow up these patients very closely and the ectopic can actually be solved by further injections of methotrexate and close follow-up. 
However, if the ectopic is little on the bigger size, with a higher level of beta HCG, the heartbeat has already come. In such cases, it might be prudent to take the patient for surgery directly because in such cases, medical management may not work. So in cases where we find that medical management may not work or in cases where medical management has failed, surgery remains the ultimate option. In surgery, these days, laparoscopic removal of ectopic is the gold standard. That is the method of choice to treat a ectopic pregnancy. All we need to do is make a port at the tummy in, on the navel and take the camera in with two accessory ports of 5 mm size. We enter the tummy, find out the exact location of the ectopic pregnancy. If the ectopic pregnancy has involved the tube, that's the tubal ectopic, the tube needs to be removed provided the other tube is healthy. In case the other tube is not so healthy, what we do is cut the tube, take out the pregnancy, ensure that the hemostasis is proper and then we can come out quite safely. Regarding the future outcome, if we see that one tube has already been removed and the other tube is healthy, these patients can become pregnant on their own subsequently. But however, it is important to understand that once a patient has ectopic, there is always a higher chance of a future ectopic pregnancy in such patients. So such patients need to be under close follow-up once they are pregnant again.